Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> no, don't. don't. Welcome back to My Plant-Based Kitchen. Today we are back for another episode. Jeremy, what are we making today? Well, today we're gonna make spinach dip and I'm mm. so excited because it's so good. I can't wait. So good. Can't wait. So good. Now, when was the last time you had spinach dip actually? Um, The last time I had spinach dip was years ago. I think I was... Um, Maybe middle school, something like that. But what? I didn't, I didn't have it often growing up. But I remember this one time I had it. I went over to someone's house, and they made spinach dip, and they made it warm. When I dipped that chip in that spinach dip, and I put it in my mouth, I melted. Oh, that was I... so good. So yeah. we want to replicate this and make it, of course, plant based. Yummy. Because that one, that wasn't plant based, so yeah. it's not good for you. But let's go ahead and give you the ingredients for our spinach dip. So first, you're going to need some mayonnaise or mayonnaise, as other people like Call to it say. It. Mayonnaise. So how much? How much was it? Mayo or um, mayo? Mayonnaise. How much mayo do you need, Jeremy? You need two cups of mayonnaise. Okay. And we have some homemade mayonnaise that we made today, and we're going to give you the recipe for the mayonnaise. But of course, you have to like multiply it to amounts of two cups. Mm -hmm. So you need two cups of mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise, which are tomato, tomato, you know. Okay. All right. Then you're going you're going to need two thirds cup of crumbled tofu. All right, crumbled tofu. Then you're gonna need one pound of frozen spinach that is thawed, thawed and drained. And drained, right? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to need, what is that? You're gonna need two cloves of garlic, but I like garlic, so I got three. And I actually chopped these, but you can just crush them because they're gonna go in the blender anyway, right? All right, and, and then? Your pimentos. Eight tablespoons of pimentos. Or red pepper, same thing. I guess so. And then some salt. Some of course, salt. we're not using all this but some salt and then also some lemon juice. But we have a lot of lemon juice in the mayonnaise as mm -hmm. already, so we're gonna omit that part. All right, so what's first? So first, let's get the dip prepared because okay. we already got the spinach, right? All Let right. me grab. <clears throat> Oops, I, I, we can't blend it if I don't have the blender. Can you, can you get that part, please? Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I was just gonna say, hey, let's just blend everything now, but. Where's the base, right? <laughs> For the dip, mm -hmm. what you're going to need is all of the ingredients except for the spinach, okay? So what are those ingredients again, Jared? We, got um, we have two thirds cup of, what is this? Tofu. Amen, crumbled tofu. <laughs> then we're going to need the eight tablespoons of the pimentos or red pepper. We're also going to need to add the, the salt, and then, of course, the garlic. two cloves of crushed garlic, or you can use three. Jeremy likes garlic. I love garlic. Okay, so you wanna, should we? All right, okay, let's go ahead and pour this in. Don't splash a roux now. I almost dropped this in there. I know, I saw you. <laughs> so Ooh. what we're doing is just adding this already to our mayo. Now, Jeremy, what are the ingredients for the mayonnaise so that others can make it, they can prepare it. Well, for the mayonnaise, what you're going to need is half of a cup of soy milk. You're going to need <laughs> Go ahead. four tablespoons of lemon juice, right? You're gonna need a crack of salt, salt it to taste, of course. A crack of salt? Yeah, crack the salt. I have a salt grinder, so oh, I always okay. say crack the salt. For some okay. reason, I don't know. I don't know, it's probably the Floridian in me, mm. right? Anyway, you add some salt, and then you need half of a cup of olive oil or any oil of your choice. So, that's it. And of course, you multiply it so you can amount to two cups, right? All right, so we put our tofu in there. Anything we else? Our, we got our tofu, pimentos, let's throw some garlic. Garlic. Right? 
And then you want to sprinkle some salt up in there. Well, not sprinkle, but you know, salt to taste, right? Now the salt is precious. The Bible says if the salt have lost its savor, it is good for nothing but to be trodden under the foot of men. Mm -hmm. This is an object lesson. We must be like salt. <laughs> That's funny because I was actually reading flavor. about that the other day. This. We have our mayonnaise. We added in our pimentos. We added in our garlic and all that good stuff, right? Into the mayonnaise. That we made. I keep messing that up. Is it mayonnaise or mayonnaise? One mayonnaise. I just say mayonnaise, mayonnaise. right? Tomato, tomato, right? Okay. <laughs> so anyway, we just did this. And in our recipe, we used olive oil, five tablespoons of olive oil. Now, um, we have also used in the past grapeseed oil, mm -hmm. and we have found that grapeseed oil actually has a milder, milder taste. Flavor. So it's just up to you. You can use olive oil or grapeseed oil, you know, whichever one you prefer. I prefer grapeseed oil. Mm -hmm. Olive oil has a pretty distinct taste, and you mm -hmm. can really taste it, so that's why grapeseed oil is my go-to, especially for mayonnaise. Right, so just up to your personal preference. All right, so now we've finished. Let's go ahead and um, let's put let's it in get our, the... our spinach, our thawed spinach. Get our dip into our spinach. All right. Get it? No? No, we don't, we don't get it. <laughs> ah, so Jerry's just gonna rake out this spinach. Let's go ahead and kind of separate that. You know, string it out. I mean, we can like. Go ahead, yes. I don't want you to. Yes, I'm doing it. That, the, I'm, I'm that. doing it the professional way, I guess you. I guess so. This is home expert. Yes level. Sometimes you have to get your hands in there. I'll just watch you. Ah. <laughs> or you can help. No, go ahead, go ahead. You, you're what? good, you're good at this. Jared, you were good at raking it with the fork. Nah, I think you're always more effective. You think so? Mm -hmm. Oopsies. All right. Done. Now, the moment you all have been waiting for. Maybe not yet, because we're not tasting it yet. But we are gonna put in our dip into our spinach. Wait. Wait, for what? Can you grab those two cups right there for me, please? Uh, Jeremy, what is this? It's something. That's for you. What is this? Spinach juice. Spinach juice? Jeremy, that's nasty. What is this? <laughs> you have to drink it. Why did you save the spinach juice? <laughs> because, you know, I don't know. I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's see how it goes. I want to watch you first. No, no, same time. <laughs> okay. One, two, four. That's disgusting. Mm, make it's it strong like disgusting. Popeye. It's disgusting. It's like make it strong like Popeye. It's green. Mm. If green had a flavor, I mean, yeah, that's right, right? If green had a flavor, I would. This is how mm. it would taste. Nasty. All right, let's get to it. It's not. You, you can drink okay, that. Okay, it's not that great. You can drink that later. Uh -uh. I don't know how you I like spinach it. juice. Mm. Oh. All right, Woo! so I'll go ahead and pour. And I'll mix. Look at that. Mm. Spinach taste. Look at that yellow goodness. Well, it's actually orange. orange. Sorry. Okay, I was about to say. Brother. Gotta get my colors right. All right, we'll do that and then I have more if you need more. Spinach taste. So with your dip, it all depends on how you like it, of course. If you like it sa saucier, as opposed to having more spinach, you can add more sauce, or you can have more spinach than dip. Just up to your personal preference. For me, as long as the flavor, the consistency is good, 
man, that's all that matters to me. This looks pretty good. Or do you want more dip to the spinach? That's it. It's done. Let us show. Well, let's get that. <gasps> I Should dribbled some. I did. I am making a mess. Don't mind this little piece right there. All right. <laughs> Boom. All right. So let's plate it and eat it. Eat it. Boom. Guys, we have spinach, spinach in, in our, our dip. dip. We have spinach dip. <laughs> all right. It's time to try it. The moment you all have been waiting for. The moment of truth. Ladies first. <laughs> I just broke my chip in the dip. Unless, unless she breaks her chip. In the dip, right? Ah. He's right. trying to get all that good stuff, right? Mmm. Oh yeah. Hey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, sorry. Friends, we made spinach dip. Oh yeah. Now, if you make spinach dip right, mm, it's gonna hit the sweet spot. It's oh, yeah. There's going to be a party in your belly. Mm. Mm -hmm. Spinach it, friends. You want to try this recipe. It's good. And brings back old memories. Mm -hmm. Old memories, old memories. So derby. Don't stuff your mouth. They're waiting for you to tell them what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. So. Again. No. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind the spinach in our teeth. I know, right? Don't mind the spinach in my teeth, right? So, if you make the recipe, let us know what you think about it. Go ahead and share in the comments below mm -hmm. and tell us your feedback if you liked it or not. Or I hope you do like it. If you don't like it, then please don't hurt my feelings, okay? But anyway, <laughs> just let us know what your thoughts were about the spinach dip and if you made any changes to it, let us know what you did so that we can try it too because this spinach dip is good, okay? And go ahead and share that on Instagram with the hashtag MPBKSTS or My Plant Based Kitchen STS. Whichever works for you. So yeah, don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe, and also let people know that a plant-based lifestyle is not boring, okay? Mm, not okay. at all. <laughs>